So Shine is running his mouth still, and Diddy has responded because he's not holding back even from behind bars. And a very interesting article on Jay Z has been released. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali back at it again with daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get straight into this video. Quick intro. So. Shine says that he thought Diddy was the devil and claims that Diddy's offensive contributions over the last 20 years and refusal to pay reparations caused their relationship to break down. Well, a rep for Diddy tells TMZ, Mr. Combs categorically denies Mr. Barrow's allegations, including any suggestions that he orchestrated Mr. Barrow to take the fall or sacrificed him by dis directing witnesses to testify against him. These claims are unequivocally false. Ooh. So he basically calls in the devil Diddy is not having it. He's really upset by this and he obviously is coming out swinging full from behind the bars. How you swing from behind the bars, we don't know. But, you know, he's basically saying to Shine, stop slandering my name. I never set you up as any fool guy. Why do you have the energy to do all of this? Shine recently supercharged a run of interviews. He called him a sacrificial lamb in a demonic plot, saying that Diddy was part of a demonic entity. And Diddy's legal team is basically slamming all of this and extremely upset for what they're saying. It is intriguing to me that Shine is saying that he was a sacrificial lamb and Diddy was part of a demonic entity and that this is what went down. Um, it is intriguing to me that Shine did not seem to have any of that energy when Diddy was outside on he was not arrested, even prior to the Cassie stuff. But at the same time, it's also plausible that he was scared of Diddy. You know, he seemed to be the full guy anyways from the shooting. So he was scared of Diddy. So everybody's saying why is Shine speaking out now? He either was scared and B, he wants to get his lick back and C, anybody would want to get their lick back if they were the full guy and went to prison for the wrong time. If you were in Shine's position and you went to the prison for somebody else's deeds and you were innocent, best believe when I come out, I'm going to be singing for the hills when I know that you're in prison. And so that's what Shine is doing. He's getting his lick back. He's doing all of these interviews, left, right, and center, going everywhere to discuss. And why not? Now, before we get into Jay-Z, someone tell me why Offset got jumped. He got jumped in Paris in France, I think today or yesterday, by a group of people, I believe by another rapper as well. And of course, Offset's security tried to bring him into a hotel, but the hotel was refusing to open the door. And, you know, they needed to open the door to make sure Offset was safe. And eventually they opened it. But it looks like Offset got jumped by a rapper's entourage in, in Paris, in France. Why? I don't know. Like, what kind of man are you to have issues internationally you know, all over the world, not just in America, but probably in Europe as well. I just obviously feel like it's just a lot for him to go through that. I wonder what could have been the reason, what is the beef behind, we don't know, but Offset has gone jumped and the video is accumulating millions of views and people are discussing it. So I wanted to bring some of the footage over here as well. Now, speaking of footage, TMZ have somehow gained access to footage of Liam Payne in an elevator speaking to people right before, three hours exactly before the passing. Um, so I don't know how they gained this footage, but of course, if things went down in a hotel, of course they have Footage, and of course they're going to basically sell that footage basically what TMZ did they contacted this hotel and offered XYZ for that footage otherwise I don't know how else they got it nobody would give this footage for free and now you can see a video of Liam Payne in the elevator I'm not surprised there's also footage of what happened to Liam Payne I'm pretty sure people would want that footage and probably are buying it right now or on some kind of media war but a lot of footage is coming out today guys of different people and I wanted to just put it all in one video as opposed to making a separate video now to get to the main conversation that I want to really have with you guys and this is about Jay-Z which I do find to be very interesting indeed because I feel like it's something that I just wonder why. Guys, this is so weird. Employees at a financial tech firm called Block have been ordered by executives not to discuss a prominent board member, rapper Jay-Z. Staffers have recently received stern warnings from management that they shouldn't mention Jay-Z, whose legal name is Sean Carter, on internal company forums like email or messaging system Slack. According to three employees who requested anonymity because they are not permitted to speak about corporate matters, no reason was given for the order, the employees said. In 2021, under CEO Jack Dorsey, Block acquired a majority stake in the music streaming platform title from a company owned by Carter. In 2021, under CEO Jack Dorsey, who used to own Twitter, Block acquired a majority stake in the music streaming platform title from a company owned by Carter. Dorsey and Carter are said to be personal friends. Last week, Block laid off dozens of workers from Tidal's relatively small staff, Fortune reported at the time. Further cuts are expected at Tidal and other Block entities, which also include Square and Cash App, as Dorsey continues to reorganize the company. Earlier this week, Block laid off some staffers at TBD, its developer platform. As Fortune earlier reported, the platform is now set to be shuttered entirely. There were also layoffs at Square this week impacting at least 20 people. 
Damn, Dorsey and his businesses. I don't know what the hell's going on. Even with Tidal, guys, I don't know what's happened. The order to not mention Jay-Z came last month as some employees questioned among themselves Carter's roles on Block's board given his purported long-time friendship with P. Diddy. The two have collaborated on music and frequently been photographed together over the years, attending things like parties and sporting events. Combs is currently in prison awaiting trial relating to a federal indictment accusing him of years of trafficking. A spokeswoman for Block pointed Fortune to the company's most recent shareholder letter published today which notes the winding down of TBD but otherwise declined to comment about any warning against mentioning Carter. The letter also notes a scaling back of our investment in Tidal giving Block room to invest in our Bitcoin mining initiative. I wonder why they would scale back on Tidal guys is something coming which a strong product market fit. Shortly after Block employees were warned about discussing Jay-Z, Dorsey held a virtual all hands meeting Usually during these meetings, employees ask questions anonymously if they choose, of Dorsey and other block leaders. For this meeting, however, Dorsey turned off the ability for employees to ask questions anonymously, according to two people who are present for the call. Interesting. People present explained that the CEO kicked off the meeting by complaining about perceived negativity from the staff, saying that he wanted more positivity. Dorsey then handed off the meeting to other block executives who were told by Dorsey to answer the question, why are you happy you're here, according to the people present. So you're saying that it's forced negativity coming everyone's way and that you should be more positive, but you shouldn't be forcing positivity. So Block basically is basically a, you know, company. And Jay-Z is one of the board members alongside Jack Dorsey. Both of them have been great together. They both, you know, um, he we used to own Twitter, Jack Dorsey. They both have been working with Tidal. But he's basically been saying that nobody should be mentioning Jay-Z at this company anymore or discussing him, you know, because people have been discussing how is he a board member if he has a strong relationship with Diddy? What is going on? Why are there such heavy stipulations on not? Why are there such heavy stipulations, sorry, on not mentioning Jay-Z? at a company that he's a board member of why are you not allowed to speak about him why are there such strict stipulations that have been put restrictions is something coming that we don't know about to me i just find it interesting the more you tell people not to speak about somebody the more people are going to speak about that person and as far as i'm concerned if i'm working for a company where he's a board member i'm very well entitled anonymously or not to discuss or ask questions about him he's not omnipotent and he's not omnipresent and i don't like the way people act like he is or anybody else in general but clearly now this is a very interesting article that i think has flown under the radar for a lot of common on here and I think that there's something that we should be discussing and talking about for the current companies that he's board members of the companies are stating you cannot speak about him stop asking questions about him and even taken away the anonymity power of some of the staffers in virtual meetings to make sure they don't speak about Jay-Z my question is why is something going to be revealed during the trial on the May the 5th do they know something that we don't it's a very intriguing story to me, guys, and I feel like people should really look at something like this because they must know something that's going to happen with Jay-Z. This is what I'm saying. If there's any person you should keep your eye on who has not been on these legal documents, it's Jay-Z. Jay-Z only and nobody else, do you understand? And I just find it to be weird that people should put a hush on this man. Like, I just, like to me it means something is coming i'm so sorry or they know something or he's going to be subpoenaed or some information about him is going to be mentioned because the minute his name is mentioned in this stuff people are going to be looking at him sideways for sure he doesn't want any of that which is why his lawyers are definitely very stringent with everything going on especially with jaguar right they weren't having any of it when it came to their her being on the pierce morgan show let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this video do subscribe to the channel i would appreciate it comment down below and give this video a thumbs up it is just one click to subscribe send a super thanks if you guys wish to they go a long way let me know what your thoughts are on this what are your thoughts on shine what are your thoughts on offset getting jumped what are your thoughts on the liam payne footage has also now come out as well and also what are your thoughts on this very intriguing jay-z article i feel like something is rumbling something is rumbling some i don't know what it is something is rumbling it's been a year now i believe today is the 15th of november roughly on the 13th 14th or 15th i don't even know what date but one of those dates cassie came out with her lawsuit it's been a whole year officially since she came out with that lawsuit which changed everything changed everything since then that lawsuit came out multiple other lawsuits came out his home was raided He's rescinded his passport. He's had to give it up. Multiple homes raided. The video of that's leaked of Cassie being beaten and dragged up. Then his apology video when he came to speak out. Then on top of that, you also now have the fact that he's been arrested and now he's sitting in jail for the past two months. Anything can change in your life just like that, especially within a year. A year. Had, 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 had did he just paid Cassie that hush money and they kept his ego intact 
had he paid that hush money to Cassie, which is probably what she was asking for privately, none of this would have happened by now and he still would have been a free man walking around in his mansion and he wouldn't have lost so much money, which is basically what is taking place right now. Clean up on our three guys. It's been a whole year, do you understand? Cheers to Cassie. She done changed the game. I want to just really give her her tens in this video at the end of this video congratulations to her she really changed everything helped and supported so many of these victims and these alleged victims to come out with their stories and who knew that she would have so much power to do something like this i don't even think that she knew yet she came out and did what she needed to do cassie i give you your tens i want to be streaming your music tonight i give you your tens you don't change the whole game subscribe or comment down below give this video a thumbs up and i will catch you guys soon for another video if there are any physios, if there are any physiotherapists that are watching this video, my rotator cuff injury, I feel like is getting worse. I do not want surgery for this. I really don't want surgery for my, for my um, rotator cuff because then I want to be in a sling for like, I don't know how long, so many months. What do I do? Like, I, I just don't understand. Like, it's just the pain is not going away. It's taking so long. It's been three weeks. I'm pretty sure they take months anyways. But is there anything that I can do? Because I might need to get an x-ray first and foremost and then if i if i if i get with a physiotherapist all they're going to tell me to do is hand exercises and i just don't understand what that does for you um because i feel like a rotator cuff injury if i'm correct medically speaking it does not heal on its own it can you know you can maintain it but it will never heal in order for it to heal you must get surgery and that is something that i'm not going to be doing child call me dramatic Call me dramatic. I didn't even know. But yes, the rotator cuff here. Oh my Lord, the pain is um, is insane. Subscribe, comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. If you are a physiotherapist, do comment down below because I definitely need your assistance. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.